what's in the box? You guys are over me walking in. You're just like, okay, just op open the box. That's fancy. I'm getting some vibrations here. Go fishing? Right now? In a fish tank? On the East River, on the Hudson River. It's pretty late in the day to start fishing. <laughs> Who the f knows, Andy? I'm going fishing. Is that like a plate from Per Se, circa like 2003? That's what I'm saying. I thought there was going to be like some fancy thing under some, there. Like, caviar? That's what I thought. I'm confused. Are there fish in here? No, there's no water in there, Molly. I know what, what I need to fish. How about Andy reads my second clue? Don't f*** it up. Don't <laughs> lie. She knows what you are. You're like, give right, Andy okay. a compliment. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> Meet your ride. A car will pick you up tomorrow morning at 9.15 a.m. and take you to your destination. Are you going to be in the car? I don't know. But what about the fish bowl? She likes to sleep in, so it's a little early for you. <laughs> I'm sensing something fancy and something fish related, and I'm getting caviar vibrations. Okay, guys, so see you tomorrow at 9.15 to go fishing? My favorite. So Petrosian is a family-run business for the past hundred years or so. And now, honestly, they're pretty synonymous with like the top tier caviar in the States. When I think of caviar, I immediately think Petrosian. I figured it's about caviar. I've been validated. Love caviar. I'm very excited. Ah! I was given a bunch of presents, a bunch of clues, and taken on a really wacky scavenger hunt to learn everything there is to know about. Oh, through the ramp? Damn. Caviar. Should I just go in? Hi. Oh, Jesus. Alex. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Molly. Yeah, we're going to have some fun with caviar. Oh my gosh, I wish I had dressed up. You look so nice. Well, no, the, you know, we're going to be in the cold environment. We're going to be all dressed up, so, you know. It's, okay, wow. It doesn't matter. I love caviar. Really? Yes. Let's go. Part of what was so amazing about that day was that I got to eat caviar with reckless abandon. I can't even keep a straight face because it was just overwhelming. Whoa, this whoa, 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 whoa. Up. Wow, this is going to be really cute. Do I look like a marshmallow or what? This is where we uh, mature and uh, all the caviar in the US. Caviar is very easy to think about. You have four or five um, type of caviar, like Merlot and, uh, and Sauvignon Blanc and all that. Four or five type of caviar, Ocetra, Sevruga. And within each of those species, you have different grades. Yeah. Uh, between four to five grades, depending on, on, the, on the caviar. And each grade represents a different maturation period. Um, okay. So super simple to think about it as a, Basically, maturation is time. Caviar is harvested from different species of sturgeon. Correct. From and different countries, farm in different countries. Right. All the caviar that you have in the US is farm raised. Um, and we get the caviar from different farm, buy them in bulk, bring them here, mature it, and start selling them. It comes from Israel, from okay. uh, Poland, from uh, uh, China, from uh, France. Got it. We import it here, here and start the maturation process. And when it's ready, we start to sell it. Let's just say tomorrow we were like, we're, we're shutting down Petrosian and we're selling everything in this room. What would the total value be? Retail or wholesale? Retail, retail. Like for a consumer. Couldn't tell you. I mean, if I would sell those retail, all this row, it would be one brownstone. One New York City brownstone. Retail price. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have like the equivalent of ten very beautiful Upper West Side brownstones in here. In Kevin. And, and that's why we're not gonna say where we are. Except for I know. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's fancy stuff. Okay, no caviar in here. <laughs> Grade some eggs. Oh. Yes, it feels like it's warm in here. It's so warm in here? But it's not. Oh it's just God. a feeling. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> Hi, 
So we're going to play a little game, uh, a guessing game, where you're going to try to guess which one is the higher grade for each species. This is one grade, this is another grade. So, these are so the, same. the way you do it, you dig in a little bit, lift it up, and try it. How much should I take? As much as you want. Said no one ever about caviar. Exactly. Mm. Wow, so delicious. so delicious. I love caviar. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's so excited. <laughs> that is. It's so good. It's almost like. I wish you guys could try it with oily. us. Oily. Mm -hmm. It's very like fatty. Mm -hmm. And now the other grade. Wow. I mean, they are so different. This one has a, this like kind of like basementy like flavor to it. Like this comes on a lot stronger. It's much more intense, and I think you can like taste the maturity in it. So this one would be the more mature. Okay. And this one would be the less mature. The salt appears a little differently because it's not mature enough. But the flavor is already more robust. It, 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 it lingers it's a little more. It's definitely more intense. It, it, it stays on your tongue a little more, too. Totally. Do you always prefer the more mature? No. Not necessarily. Not so it's like a personal preference thing also. It, it really is. Uh, this is completely different, as you can tell by the look. Is there one that you're going to be like, I don't think you're going to like this? Well, maybe, but no. For whatever reason, the texture of these are like more poppy. Like definitely. they're more sturdy almost. Mm -hmm. Not gonna help. So sweet. Before you told me that the, <laughs> the more mature ones were less salty because it had been like. Yeah, but also it depends on, on each caviar, if the eggs is big or small. It, it all affects the, the, the maturation process. So it can be more mature than this one, but not ready yet. So now I have to guess. I think this one's more mature. I don't know. Damn it! <laughs> this one is way rounder. You have, um, yeah. and it stays on your tongue more. And this really what gives it away each time is how long the caviar stays on your tongue. This one kind of stops fast and, yeah. and, and evolves. This one kind of stays and stays and lingers. Okay. They're lighter in color the more they mature. Not always, but yes, ish. A lot of ish is going on. It's almost giving me like a olive flavor. The salt and the, the, wow. the process that gives it you this kind of... It really tastes like an oil cured olive. That one tastes like Parmesan cheese. <laughs> That's not what I have, but I mean, I love the analogy. That's not what you're getting? Mm. It's uh, very like mellow and yeah, so gentle. Mellow. I feel like I'm gonna f it up. I think this one's more aged. Am I right? This is definitely more caviar than I've had in one sitting already. And we've just gotten Good. started. Across the board, I liked a whole variety of different levels of caviar best. I guess my point is all caviar is great. Did you start this company? No, my grandfather started the company. Right, okay. Um, when, so when did Petrosian... When 1920. Was it 1920. Okay. My uh, dad started to work in uh, the early 70s, and I started to work full time in 2004. So you've been. 15 years ago. 16 14, years, yeah. 16 years ago. Jesus Christ. Go, go too fast. Pack some tins. Molly, we're going to start packing some caviar. Uh, this is your tools. Um, so for the big tin, the small tin, to open them and to remove the broken eggs when we're done. So you're just inspecting for broken eggs? Exactly. That's it. And that's your first tin of caviar. Okay. <laughs> now press hard. Got it. Wow. First tin completed. Cheers. Uh, last one we're going to do uh, is the rubber band method. This is the first one we've ever done. It doesn't involve in machine. Is there like a reason that you would pack certain caviars in certain tins, or is it just a matter of like how quickly you're going to go through it? The customer choose, you know, how fast they're going to go through it and how big they want their tin to be. Each time I slam the tin, it sits the caviar in the tin. Uh huh. We're good, and then you take the rubber, lay it right on the edge, and push it. And you have your tin. Exactly. It hurts your fingers. It's hard. That's a really strong rubber band because it's airtight. Couldn't really do it. 
Not too bad. Well, you, you need to do it again. I'm so sorry because it doesn't cover both uh, things, so the air can come in. Ow! <laughs> oh no! I did it again. Almost. It's okay. <laughs> and that's what makes you learn faster, I guess. And you have your tin. Love. It's like he's been wrapping his tins in rubber bands for 20 years. It hurts. So the only problem with, you, with your tin is when you open, you take a spoon and close it back. Yep. And then there's air, there's a big pocket of air in your tin, and that's when it starts to spoil. If you repack it and close it properly, no problem. Like um, I have like a lot of pressure on you me. I'm have the, uh, the, what if you I get did it wrong? already. You did it already. I know. You've done the big part already. It's a lot. And if you have a problem, you call me and I'll walk right. you through it. Okay. I that promise. sounds great. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Thank you. I for can't wait me. to see what you're going to do with it. This has been incredible. Once again, I'm all alone. <laughs> Hail a cavi car. <laughs> I am fully loaded with caviar and I'm going to go back to the test kitchen now. Taxi! <laughs> It's gonna be loud. Sorry. <laughs> Make caviar the low way. Okay, popping. popping. Make caviar the medium way. Make caviar the high way. God, that is loud. That's it, we're done. Make caviar the boss way. Okay. I'm gonna make a game plan because I have two hours to do something high, something low, and something molly. So, hi. I think we do oysters on the half shell, and I will make a champagne mignonette, cause duh, and caviar. And then low, I wanna do like a loaded baked potato, sour cream, smoked salmon, chives, caviar. And then for Molly Way, little high, little low, I wanna do a seven layer dip. Those layers will be like a lump crab salad at the bottom. We'll do a layer of creme fraiche, diced shallots, egg yolks that have been passed through a sieve, chives, egg, whites and then top it with caviar, with a big layer of caviar. And I'll do that in a mold, like a ring mold. And then I'm gonna serve that, if I have time, so homemade hot potato chips. Does that seem like a plan? Okay, I need to get cooking. So I'm gonna start by baking my potatoes, boiling my eggs, then I'm gonna make my champagne mignonette. Gonna peel the potatoes. Hey Carla, what was the thickness? I know you, you measured, but like. Three millimeters. Do you think that's three mils? Yeah, that looks uh, pretty a little, a dead little thin. on. It's great. I have a lot to do. So feel free to help out. Your eggs going? Are my water going? Well, they're boiling. You should reduce Why don't you go ahead and drop some eggs in there? <laughs> Andy and I have a special relationship. I love him so much, and I also f***ing hate him a lot of the time. My little do stuff. I get to boss you around. <laughs> chop, chop over there. How do you do it, Molly? Sure. Right I don't just, so you could just leave them out, but I end up just dipping them a few times in the hot water. I just put them in a bowl of warm water and let them come up to temp. But yeah, we're kind of like siblings in the test kitchen. Timer. Um, hey Siri. Hey Siri! Siri, listen to us! Hey Siri! 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 <laughs> hey Siri. Hey Siri. Set my timer for 10 minutes. Hey Siri. Set my timer for 10 minutes. Oh. I got it. Should I set it No, calm down. Chill. Calm down, Siri. I feel like caviar would be like the food that represents me. Oh, my sweet Andy boy. Why, because it's just like so luxe and desirable and, and unattainable. And weird. Yeah, and salty. 
You're salty. Yeah, well, what, are you, what are you gonna be? You're gonna be, you wanna be foie? No, I don't you wanna, wanna be foie. You wanna be force fed and fatty? And... No, maybe I'd be... You wanna be Trump Holmes. No, come on, I'm not that basic. I'll be champagne. I'm gonna do crab on the bottom. Layer of red onion. Wow. Yes. I found a couple things over there. Oh. oh, did you know that this is part of my show? Blaney. That you drink a martini that, every time? And a fucking sidecar. It's not a real martini unless there's a sidecar. That's my rule. I agree. Oh That's my God, there's you. so much happening right now. <laughs> and uh, we did a little for the presentation. Oh my God, I box. love that. I was just talking about this the other day. Right? Do it now. Do it now. Throw a party, I was already going to. <laughs> one step ahead of the game. I'm always one step ahead. So this is, I believe, my fifth layer. Come fresh. Ooh, I kind of want to keep it like in a big pile. Okay, and the final layer. I'm gonna start chucking oysters. Now I'm going to top the oysters. I'm gonna take the baked potatoes out now. Sour cream. So here's my big potato caviar that I chose. I really just want to go over the top with this because we can. Never in a million years would I think that I would be here serving you guys caviar, but here we are presenting my first course which is oysters on the half shell. These are blue point oysters with caviar and champagne mignonette. Yum. Please enjoy. Oh, wow. what type of caviar? That's um, special okay, reserve Kaluga caviar. Oh, this I'm is baked potatoes with sour cream, smoked salmon, Kaluga Huso hybrid imperial caviar wow. and Whoa. dill. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, my seven layer oh, caviar wow. dip. Wow. Featuring Damn. imperial bica. So this has a layer of crab salad, a layer of diced red onions, a layer of sieved egg yolks, a layer of sieved egg whites, a layer of chives, a layer of creme fraiche, and an enormous amount of caviar. Amazing. <laughs> so that's amazing. a seven layer dip right That is. Yeah. That's you know? the kind of seven layer dip I'm trying to eat. Spoiled by a lot of different foods, but I have, I'm yet to be like this indulged by caviar mm -hmm. ever right. in my life. It's pretty in my special. Life. Yeah, yeah. This is over top. Mm -hmm. So, so. I mean, like growing so. up, how often did you have? No, never, never. Either. Oh hell no, I didn't have that growing up. I don't think my mom's ever had caviar or my dad. Once I mean, in a blue moon for a special party. Maybe New Year's Eve. Maybe and, on New Year's and maybe Eve. Maybe as a grown up. Also, once right. in a blue moon. Yeah. I think the last time I had it was when Petrosian was here. <laughs> right. So people, we don't eat caviar every day. Just so yeah, this is special for us too. Yeah. yeah. Definitely more caviar than anyone had ever consumed in one sitting. Like, both based on like types of caviar, but also just sheer volume. I have a lot more and it's all in vacuum sealed tins, but what I learned is that once you crack open the vacuum seal, you have to eat it within a day. It was really an argument for nice. when you have caviar, you should really just <laughs> go, go to for it. Don't put like, it back in the fridge. Like, yeah, it's it's not, like eating yeah. a it doesn't get better if you save it. That's why the teeth are so small, I guess. Cheers. Right to your surprise. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Hopefully the takeaway from this episode is not like, wow, they eat a lot of caviar in their lives, because like that was also a very special experience for us. It, and unusual. If you were a luxury food, which personifies you the most? I would be whatever the better version of Andy's caviar is. All right. <laughs>